Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Omaha Storm Chasers and the Wichita Wind Surge. Digging in, Bobby Witt Jr. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now the payoff pitch home. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Expected to get a little cooler as we go on, but the temperature at game time 68 degrees. Swing and a liner. And he lays off ball four and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. Stepping up now Jason Guzman first chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk on the ground to second base. This could be two a tag for one on to first to complete the double play at the plate Ryan McBroom trying to get him started again following the double play two out nobody on. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. Fouled off. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Stepping in, Jazz Chisholm. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1 home is in there for the second strike. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Settling in now, Magnera Sierra. One out, nobody on. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. It's going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Fastball is looked at for strike two. The two two. Fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Now in the box, Matt Kemp looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. A payoff pitch one more time. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. Over the bullpen and gone. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Into the box now, Jesus Sanchez. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Ball set for the start of the inning, and striding forward, the designated hitter, Nick Prado. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Off the outside that time, as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Right side. He's got it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Now batting, Nick Heath. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Now at the plate, Jimmy Govern. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. A 1 1. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He's 
guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Lopes is under it. Two gone. At the plate, Kelvin That's Gutierrez. Tough. He takes the his first, first cuts in this one with a man at first and two Kelvin. away. Gutierrez. Now a throw over. And he'll dive back in. Keith is off of first with two away. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. So striding in, MJ Melendez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Three and two now. High and deep to straightaway right. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. of the inning now and set to go is the second baseman Christian Lopes here's the one and one delivery hit in the air down the right field line but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball the 2 2 now a swing and a fly ball but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Scott Spindler. Third base Spindler. Two and one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Sean Rodriguez will be next. Good battle, count remains full. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. Around first, digging for two. And he'll pull into second with one away. That is that. The first baseman. John Rodriguez. Stepping in now, Sean Rodriguez. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Perkins is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Sliding into the box, Ryan LaVarnway. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Two and one, here it is. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw in time and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Court Peterson, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The 1 1. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. Ready on 1 and 2. Lifted down the line in left. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. The 1 2. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Reined in. Throw to first in time. And the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Digging in for his second at bat. Bobby Witt Jr. reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Line drive to center field. Base hit. And they're into the hit column. Batting second, 
the left fielder. Standing in now, Blake, Blake Perkins. Perkins. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Now a throw over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Digging in to try it again, Ryan McBroom. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Over the bullpen and into the stands. That's one long home run. Hey, that wasn't a particularly good pitch right here. This guy doesn't get away with very many mistakes. He's going to have to do a better job pitching out of the middle part of the plate. So now to the plate, Nick Prado. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Bottom of the third now, and standing in is the DH, J.C. Milan. Now the 2-1. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. A swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Good stop. Striding yeah. in once again, Jazz Chisholm Good looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. One ball. A ball and two strikes now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. This is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. The center fielder, ready for another chance. Magnera Sierra. There's the 2 1 home. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Stepping in, Nick Heath, as we begin the top of the fourth. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Lifted down the line and left. On the move is Kemp, and no one will track it down. The next 3-2. Line to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The batter now eight. Second base. To plate now, Jimmy Govern. Govern. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Govern is holding on to a batting average way down in the two tens. Yeah, Maddie, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. The 3 2 pitch he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now at the plate, Kelvin Gutierrez. He drew a walk his first time up. Kelvin Gutierrez. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Stepping into the box. MJ Melendez. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here's the two and two. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Grounded back up the middle. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The battle, the right fielder, Court Peterson. In now, Court Peterson. 
And he'll fall behind now to one and two. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Digging in and looking for more, Bobby Witt Jr. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Two balls and a strike. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Two and two. I kind of like the aggressive attitude right here. I know he's in a jam. What does he do? He goes to his best stuff, and that's the fastball. Ground ball sent back up the middle. In to score, the runner from third. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Now batting, the left fielder. Into the box, Blake Perkins. Perkins. Oh. And able to lay off the fastball the way here. Two and one now. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitch has been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. And he missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. He set the payoff pitch. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Cody Poti answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Ryan McBroom will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Here's the two and two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Lopes is there now as he makes the catch and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping forth is the left fielder, Matt Kemp. Yeah, Matt, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. The 2-1 home is taken, ball three. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Three and two now. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Line drive to left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Now batting, right fielder, Faith Hill. Sanchez. At the plate now, Jesus Sanchez. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. Standing in now, Christian Lopes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Perkins is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Into the box now, Scott Spindler. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Into the box now, Sean Rodriguez. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. Throw in time at first for out number two. Into the box, Ryan LaVarnway. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Fouled away. The 1 2. Line to the right side. That gets down, and the inning continues. The batter, number 10, 
designated hitter. So now to the plate, J.C. Milan grounded to short, and an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Nick Prado. And this is low, ball two, two and one. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Pulled toward right center field. Sierra is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Digging in once again, Nick Heath. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. And a full count now, three and two. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Ready once again, Jimmy Govern. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Here's a look over to first and a dive, but he's back. Fifth inning here of a tie ball game, four to four. He's going. He's Runners going. off for second. Pitch outside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. The two-one home. Yep. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. This is in the air to left field. Kemp on the run. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. The third baseman, number 15, Kelvin Gutierrez. In now, Kelvin Gutierrez. Now a slider well off the plate. An easy take there. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Kemp has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And a relay to the plate. And the runs in to score on the sacrifice fly as that'll break the tie and make it a five to four ball game. Now batter. Ready for another Protection. shot now. MJ Melendez. A hit in two tries so far. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. And it misses three and one now. Court Peterson would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Popped him up. Lopes is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Jazz Chisholm. Slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Here's a pop-up now. Govern is calling for it. One away. Digging in now, Magnera Sierra is hoping to avoid the hat trick that struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Slow little roller to third. Gonna be a tough play. And there are two away now. So here's Matt Kemp now. This one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jesus Sanchez. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. 1-1. Sent on the ground out to second. 
fielded cleanly. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the outfielder, Court Peterson. And it's three and two now to the number nine hitter. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order room. The next three two. High in the air out to center field. Sierra is right there, one down. So the batting order turns now over now and set to go. Bobby Witt Jr., two base hits, both singles to this point. Now the 2 1. Here's a high pop up. Spindler is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now with the plate, Blake Perkins as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. Meanwhile now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. The first baseman, number nine, Ryan McBroom. At the plate, Ryan McBroom. Now a flare out toward right center. Lopes ranging into the outfield. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Junior Marte is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Coming to the plate now, Christian Lopes. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. 1 1. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on first himself for the out. In now, Scott Spindler. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. A bouncer up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. At the plate now, Sean Rodriguez. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. So coming to the plate, Ryan LaVarnway. One for two on his line so far in the game. The 1-1 one -one is taken for ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts, you can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Full count, three and two. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. So stepping in, J.C. Milan, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one-two. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. It'll be the four-hole hitter, Nick Prado. He flew out in his last at-bat. Now the one-and-one one pitch. It is swung on and missed for strike number two. To two balls and two strikes now. 
pitch on the way. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Right fielder looking up to the track to the wall. Gone to lead off the inning. Into the box, Nick Heath. To two and two now. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Sanchez moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. The batter number eight. Now at the plate, Jimmy Kevin Govern. Davis. He'll try to follow Jimmy up the double in his last Govern. at bat with another big hit right here. That's popped up. Lopes calls for it. Two down. The Digging in, Kelvin Gutierrez. He hit a sack Kelvin fly earlier. Gutierrez. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he looks at one in there, one and two. A nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Sierra is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Richard Lovelady will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Richard. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jazz Chisholm. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. To the plate now, Magnera Sierra trying to bunt here, but this winds up hitting him. And they're going to say that he went after it. A strange strike, too. Still even at two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. He stays alive, still two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Line drive to left. Perkins is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. At the plate, Matt Kemp. It was a walk in his last trip. The 2-2. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now to the plate, Jesus Sanchez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Lifted down the line in left. And they can't run it down. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Josh Smith has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 58. Ready to begin the eighth. And now it'll be the catcher, MJ Melendez. Now the one and one pitch. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. In comes Sierra. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now that striding Mike in, Court Peterson. Court. He's 0 for 2 thus far Peterson. in this one. Both teams with eight hits in this one. And there's ball two now. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hit out towards second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. 
So the lineup flips over and digging in Bobby Witt Jr. He's two for three and looking for more here. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Skied into straightaway right. Sanchez is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Trevor Rosenthal is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 40, Trevor. So digging in now, Christian Lopes. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. A good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Even count two balls and two strikes. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. This one skied out toward right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Now batting, third baseman. Stepping in now, Scott Spindler. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Now a rocket deep down the line in left. And that's off the left field wall. He's in at second safely as they also push across his score to make it a one run game. Into the box now, Sean Rodriguez. Lofted in the air out to right field. And he can't track it down. A base hit. Throw comes back into the infield as that time run will hold up at third with still the nobody out. So now to the plate, Ryan LaFarnway. The bouncer to the left side. To second for one. And he's out on the tag. But they are able to tie it up late here as a run score on the play. Next will be the designated hitter, J.C. Milan. We could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Still 1 and 2. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Count remains two and two. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Digging in, Blake Perkins. He's one for two in this one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Sierra's under it. He's got it one away. Standing in, Ryan McBroom. He's one for four for the game. McBroom. Here's the pitch on two and two. On the ground to the right side. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. The batter, the designated hitter, Nick. At the plate now, Nick Prado. And it's one and two. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old P-sack and climb the ladder. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. 
Full count now, three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Oh, and they pull the string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Ready now, Nick Heath. There are two gone, and the possible go-ahead run at first. Fouled off. Ready with another two-strike offering. A shot down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Randy Rosario enters to do the pitching, and best-case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And stepping up as the shortstop, Jazz Chisholm. like the fastball got away from him there it's ball two hit on the ground to short reined in throw on to first and one shortstop grounds out to the other one away coming to the plate now Magnera Sierra he lined out in his last trip so looking for better fortunes here the 2 1 home runs up and gets this one down and he will smartly swipe that ball away in foul territory, so we likely won't see the bunt again now with two strikes. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Bases are empty here with two men out. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. its offensive stars and in this one he arguably shined the brightest he's our top player of the game well he blasted a couple of balls over the wall in this one really put the guys on his back and carried him to the victory Tight one, seven to six, the final score tonight. The win surge came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Josh Smith wins in relief for the eighth time this year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. The final line score, first for the victorious win surge, seven runs on 12 hits. No error. They left seven men on base. For the Storm Chasers, six runs, nine hits. No error. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 43 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.